So what are the arguments that you would give for a woman who doesn't want to bear a child? That she needs to be awarded. We are ensuring that our children cannot live well on this planet by producing more children. For a woman who uh, chooses not to be a mother, who doesn't... Oh, I'll give you an award. <laughs> so she has chosen you as an advocate for her case and huh? you have to fight her case. So what are the arguments? I, I'm sorry, I didn't get that. So the, there's a woman yeah, she who doesn't, doesn't want to have a child. A mother, and she's chosen you as an advocate for her case <laughs> and you have to fight her case. So what are the arguments that you would give for a woman who doesn't want to bear a child? I said she needs to be awarded. <laughs> I've already announced in India, young women who are capable of childbearing chose not to do it. We will institute an award for them because right now the greatest service you can do in the world is you are not extra populating this planet. Okay. <laughs> if suppose you were a tiger woman, I mean to say a female tiger, then I would have encouraged you, please breed, please breed. <laughs> because it's an endangered species. Well, you know, see we are not endangered <laughs> Wherever you go, there is a crowd. Well, uh, to protect a nation you have to build a wall, otherwise people are coming. Obviously there's too much <laughs> Obviously there is too much population everywhere, isn't it? So, this is something we need to look at in a very fundamental way. This is happening because the need, the need is inbuilt. The reproductive need is a very inbuilt need. Whatever arguments they have at one point, the body dictates. Fortunately, there's a lot of pain and stuff involved. Otherwise, I don't know what would have happened. <laughs> So, uh, this need, if it one has to transcend, instead of forcefully putting it down, if your identity naturally shifts beyond your biological self, you will see these needs will completely disappear. Right now, I want people to understand, what you're looking for is not a child, what you're looking for is involvement. Right now, your problem is, you simply cannot involve with people unless they came out of your body. Your… your identity of biology is so strong, you can't simply include these people as yours. Oh, this one came from my body, this is mine, this. <laughs> this is because you're trapped in your own biology, that's all it is. Why should it fall out of your body? Not necessary. Human being has the ability, this is an animal instinct. This instinct is needed for the survival of the race, of course. But now, the survival of the race depends on consciously controlling the population a little bit. From the beginning of twentieth century, in 1910, our population was just 1.58 billion, let's say 1.6 billion. Today we are 7.6 billion. By 2050, they're estimating we will be 10.3 billion. When it's 10.3 billion, I don't want to be around. <laughs> Hello? I want you to just imagine, another fifty percent rise in the world's population, you can imagine what all problems you will face. We are ensuring that our children cannot live well on this planet by producing more children. It's very, very important. We must understand, why this has happened is not just because of unbridled reproduction, no, that is not true, it's control. It is simply because our life expectancy is extending itself, it's fantastic. For example, in India, when the British left India, our life expectancy was twenty-eight years. How many of you are over twenty-five? Twenty-eight, I'm sorry. So you're all dead <laughs> That's what it meant, I want you to understand, twenty-eight years. Today it has reached seventy. It's a phenomenal achievement in seventy years of uh, independence <clears throat> So, be, when we take death into our hands, should we not take birth into our hands? I'm not propounding any philosophy, I'm just talking simple arithmetic. Hello? When we take death into our hands, should we not take birth into our hands? 
If we don't do that, if we do not consciously contain our population, nature will do it to us in a very cruel way. You want to wait for that day, you can. But being human beings, it'll be nice if we do it consciously, isn't it?